I really should be doing some work um, on the other shed up the garden trying to get the cable up there for the, the plasma cut up but the way my arm is I just can't do that sort of work but what I can do hopefully is use the lathe and make some piston rings for the little gas engine I've measured the piston up and I really have converted the sizes to metric because it just is easier on this lathe to work in metric uh, the piston rings or at least the piston has got an outside diameter of 44.1 so I'm going to make the piston rings 44.1 with the inner diameter of 38 the pistons are 4.6 mil thick that's the distance between the, the two lines on the ring grooves that's an average because this is there's nothing actual the same size it's all within 2 or 3 or 4 thou or sorry 0 0.01, 0 0.02 of a mil but they're not, it's not that like of it but I'm just going to go with what I've got and make rings to suit Use a nice cast iron bar here, high quality. I think it's called Mayonnaise bar. I've used this for piston rings before. So basically, I need to turn the tube to those dimensions and then part the rings off, uh, break the rings or cut the rings, and then expand the rings and temper them. Uh, it should be quite an interesting process. I've made piston rings before and they were very successful. The problem with these rings is that they're quite thick. Uh, expand them onto the piston could be a, you know getting them to fit could be a little bit tricky anyway we'll get this chucked up and have a go at making them strangely enough most of this layer is made out of cast iron but yet cast iron dust is really bad for for layers so I'm going to put a little bit of protection on the on there just to stop a lot of it from I just can't stop at all but if I can stop any of it from getting under the, the lead screw all the better simply use a self centering truck for this because it's going to be Bar's not not round, it's rough cast, but if you find a place where it it seems to fit in. This hand's definitely getting stronger all the time. As certain things I do it hurts. Um, I can pull on it, no problem, but if I push a certain way, it's quite a strange feeling. Well it's not strange, it just hurts. Right, we'll square the end up, knock it down, knock it down with the side and get it bored out and then pour some rings off this really is nice stuff to machine the machine is very ordinary ordinary cast iron I'm just going to turn that tip round because it's actually chipped. People often ask me what tips I use. To be perfectly honest with you, I use whatever tips work. This tool was given to me by a viewer, and a friend did give us a, a box of tips for it. Um, if you want to know anything more about tips, there's loads of information on the internet, and I'm sure Adam Booth did quite a, a lengthy video 
on different tips. That one there, that in there is good. I like these because you do get you get usually you get to use three sides. On some tips you can actually use all six sides, all six corners. It always appears you have a spare retaining screw as well because if you've only got one you can guarantee you'll drop it. And once you drop it that's it, it's gone, gone forever. Now ambition in life is to get into the into the tree of swarf and you'll never find the bastards again. Right. Ready to fight me that here. Cutting considerably better. Right, I've just dropped a massive bollock. Instead of measuring this, I was playing around trying to get decent little video clips uh, of actually cutting the material, and I've turned it down to 43.8, which is too small. So basically, I've scrapped that bit of bar. I'll turn it round and see how much. I'll see how many rings I can get out of the other end. That's all I can do. It's a great shame because it's. That's what happens when you're trying to do videos and you're trying to make things and trying to get decent shots anyway. It's one of them things, it's not the end of the world, at least I have got that little bit there and I'm sure I'll be able to get at least two, possibly three rings out of that. We've got some of the grip on now. This cast bar there's a hard skin on the outside, you've got to make sure you get underneath that in one cut. I was eager to make, or sorry, I was eager to vernia onto the piston and I need 4.8. It took 4 mil off and then we'll peel the, we'll peel the micrometer. 4 mil, two, 2 1 mil cuts, we take the 4 off.
I mean, that's at 44.5, 44.6. So we've got enough left to play with to get a decent finish on there. And then we'll bore it out. It's bloody annoying what I've done to that, but you know what I mean. I'll just check a little pip out the centre. And get a centre drill into it. shape of it. Really strong drill, nice and short. This board needs to be 38 mil at the minute. I think it'd be about 28. It is so we need 10 mil out of there, 5 mil aside. Yeah, I've set the button here, just a reference for when I get to the bottom of the hole. So I'll stop it, maybe I'll fold it down short and then just finish it off by hand. As you heard, that was the bottom of the hole. I'll slow things down, take another cut on the same setting and get a snap gauge into it. See, I've put in a much stiffer boring bar. That one flex. Really light like cut. That's the same cut as the other one, there's no vibration or chatter on that. I've set the zero on the DRO as well, I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. It would have been a lot simpler. One more cut, same setting. Spring foot. It's not taking much out, but it is 
Give them some out. We'll put a nice finish in there. We can get a really good, a good finish on cast iron. Quick measure with the clamp. And this gives us 37.6. I'm looking for 38. So what I'll do, I'll put the snap gauge in there and use a micrometer. That's a real nice finish in there. Snap your gin like at an angle. You take the little nut on the end and then gently sweep it through once and that gives you the size on there that we can then read directly with a micrometer. I do it with a vernier first, I get a measurement of 37. 37.58 and the metric mate gives us 37.5859 so we'll take one tenth of a mil off one side of it nice slow feed rate Right, we're at now 37.8 Like the family's haircut Put one more cut through on the same setting. We're talking five hundredths of a mil there. That's absolutely spot on. 38. Yeah. What's that with a lot? I've had a few people ask us how long am I going to carry on doing some of the night night caps. I mean, I'll carry on doing them as long as you want to carry on watching them. It's as simple as that. Uh, I've got loads of projects to do loads of things I can, there's always something that turns up, a little job I can make a video out of. If there's anything you want to want us to do, or you want us to try and do, or show you how to do, just send us an email and ask, not a problem. Once again, it just remains to say, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, as usual, thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in. By the way, my arm's definitely improving, it's, um, I still can't straighten it, but it's, it certainly is getting better. Anyway, Thanks for watching. I've been asked a few times by various people how long will I continue doing these, these Sunday night videos. Well, as long as people watch them and as long as I get the views, I'll carry on watching them. I'll carry on watching them. I'm doing them on you. Bell end. Bastard. Once again, 